All right, this one is for parents watching. Intermountain Healthcare, the sponsors of this segment, is here to remind you how important it is to protect your child's head in cars and while outdoors. So thank you for joining us, Dr. Bragg. You, tell us about your position because you're not just a pediatric neurologist. Uh, actually, I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm the only board certified full time pediatric neurosurgeon in the entire state of Nevada. Wow. Um, so I started here in March of 2020 and we've been really. Uh, grateful to help the community um, in, in pediatric neurosurgery. So let's talk about the numbers here when it comes to you know protecting your child's head. What are, what are you seeing out there? So um, in terms of like car accidents, you know there, there's been a huge jump from 2009, about a 40 percent increase in fatalities in the yeah. state. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of concussions, we see a lot about, about four million, uh, not locally of course, mm -hmm. but in the in the country. What I tend to see. Um, can range from anything from children falling off yeah. beds, um, jumping off of trampolines. Um, so we see a lot of in and accidental injuries. Right. Um, but then we also see some high speed motor vehicle accidents, children ejected from vehicles um, if they're not properly restrained. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for what you do. That's, it's hard to talk about um, just imagining these children going through this. So let's talk about the head protection um, checklist, I guess you could say. First, sure. seat belts. How yes. important is that? So obviously seat belts are really critical mm -hmm. um, at all ages and mm -hmm. most parents are aware of needing proper seating for infants. Mm -hmm. um, but once kids reach about 40 pounds, uh, 40 to 60 pounds, they're actually appropriate for booster seats. Okay. And I think that's probably the area that's most missed um, in terms of safety just because we tend to think of an eight-year-old maybe old enough to wear a seat belt and right. they're really not. Yeah. Um, so the, pr the purpose of the booster seat is to really protect um, the mostly abdominal trauma, mm -hmm. but obviously the seat belts important to protect um, head injury as well. Absolutely, the entire, you know, the right, full the body right body. there. Um, and then, of course, you're mentioning safety seats. Um, there's uh, the don'ts of safety seats. Uh, one, one point is destroy a child's safety seat it ha if it has been involved in a crash. That's so let's correct. talk about some of those points. Yeah, so um, safety seats are rated, to, most of the time they expire within six years. So mm -hmm. obviously passing them down from um, child to child is okay for a short period of time. Right. And then in any time, a, a, uh, just like we would for a football helmet, any time right. you've had a, a significant Significant injury or a bike helmet, you need to replace that safety seat so that your children Absolutely. are protected. And concussions and helmets, of course, are all, also yes. on the list. So obviously, most of us think about football helmets, mm -hmm. right? And um, we think about uh, appropriate padding for football or for even for soccer. Um, but I actually see quite a few kids, particularly after the holiday season. I saw a lot of kids having accidents with hoverboards, mm -hmm. and so things that you're really not thinking about, even skateboarding, um, you know, may not be the coolest thing to do, but you only've got one brain, so it really would be appropriate to wear a helmet and any other protective gear to protect from long bone fractures, wrist fractures, knee, knees, and ankles. Okay, well, thank you so much, Dr. Bragg. Those oh, are great reminders for parents out there. We have to protect ourselves and our children. So thank you again to Intermountain Healthcare for sponsoring this segment. For more information, just visit intermountainhealthcare.org forward slash Nevada.